Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. Today, I wanted to go over something I get asked about occasionally on the channel. How do you keep the inside of your Jeep Gladiator so clean? And really, if I'm being honest, it's never really very clean because I hate washing and cleaning vehicles. But I also like them to look good. So every once in a while, I have to break down and go ahead and clean the interior out. Now, if you're like most people out there, including me, you probably have a cabinet or a shelf somewhere that looks kind of like this. All kinds of products and things in it, right? Waxes and conditioners and armor all and all that kind of stuff, right? Because you probably have seen the commercials for them out there and decided that they made it look so easy that you could do it as easily as they do. So you pick these things up and then they end up in that cabinet where mine have been sitting for I don't know how long now and never touched again. So I'm here to tell you there's a simple way to keep the inside of your Jeep Gladiator looking clean or any vehicle really. And there's only a couple of things that you need. Well, really three things, I guess. So first of all, let's take a quick look. I just cleaned mine out. It probably took me about 15 minutes and that's about the, the length of as far as I'm willing to go. The floor mats are swept. Yeah, they're not glistening, shiny, clean with some kind of slippery treatment over them. But honestly, do you want some kind of an armor all on there so that when you go to hit the brake pedal, if you need to do it in a hurry, your foot just slides on off? I don't. They're swept, they're clean. The interior, no dust, no dirt, nothing on the inside. Everything's wiped off. The windows are clean on the inside. And everything else is glistening. Look at that shine on that chrome. Anyway, it's clean, the gauge cluster. I use the same thing for everything on the interior. Let's take a quick look in the back. You can see I didn't skimp. I didn't just do the front for the video. I cleaned the whole truck, both for really for you guys and me. The door cards are clean. More chrome or silver glistening here. You get the idea. Everything is all nice and cleaned up on the inside. So what do I use? Well, first of all, if you're in the market for a vacuum, and even if you're not, you have one that's really crappy and doesn't do the job, this is the minimum you need. And of course, um, it really comes down to suction. When you get this thing in there and you turn it on and you're trying to get those little dinky particles of white dirt that show up like crazy on the black trim and everything, you want something that really sucks, right? This works perfectly. It's a simple Lowe's shop vac, I guess, or it came from Lowe's anyway. It's five gallons. You don't need anything bigger. You know, I've seen a lot of people have those big giant shop vacs. You ever fight with one of those? Open your door, they're banging into your door, you're denting and scratching your door because you've got this three foot tall behemoth of a thing. You don't need it. Anyway, five gallons or 18.9 liters for you metric people, five and a half horsepower. That is perfect. This thing really sucks. And I mean, it pulls the dirt out of everywhere I need to get it out. Plus it's low. When I'm sliding it around, and that's another thing, a lot of them come with wheels on the bottom. How long do those wheels last? I've had them break time and time again, or something gets wrapped around them, they don't turn, it wants to pull the wrong way. This thing is just a plastic flat bottom, and it slides all over the place. As far as the height, of course, the Jeep Gladiator is a bit higher. It slides right under the doors. I'm not banging into anything, scratching up my doors, anything crazy like that. As far as the ends go, you really just need a good flat end like that. That's all you really need. Brushes, attachments, all that junk. You notice there are none on mine. I threw them away. I don't need them. They're just in the way and half the time fall off all over the place. One microfiber cloth, that's all you really need. Start with the windows. Obviously, you don't want to wipe the dirty bits off and then clean your windows, right? Start with the windows and then move on down. Now, liquid, something wet. This is my own homemade concoction. This is, let's see, a 32 ounce, I believe, 32 ounce bottle. What I do is I put in about, yeah, somewhere between six, eight, ten drops of non-ammonia containing dishwashing soap. 
put that in first, or actually fill it up with water first, and then put those drips, six to 10 of them, of ammonia-free dishwashing detergent, and then shake it up a bit. You'll be golden. That lasts a long time, and it's pennies on the dollar compared to what the stuff in that cabinet over there costs. Love doing that, it works perfectly. Why ammonia free? Well, if you have tinted windows, ammonia will break down or eat that plastic window tent. So don't use it. Plus, it's not good for the plastics inside your truck either. I mean, if it'll break down window film, think what it's doing to your plastics over time, if you keep your trucks a long time. This is awesome, discovered it a long time ago. As I said, it works perfectly. A tip I'll give you when you're cleaning the plastics and things inside the truck, don't blast them with this. The only thing you should spray this directly on is the windows. Otherwise, just spray a little bit on the cloth, gets it wet, and then wipe. Now, another tip I'll give you is do that first. Clean all the plastic bits and stuff first, not after you sweep, because invariably, the wind that's created because you're so feverishly, if you're like me, trying to get it done because you hate doing it, is gonna knock some of those little pieces off and they're gonna end up on the carpet, on the seats, whatever, right after you've swept if you do this second. I always do it first because I know that's what's gonna happen. And that's all it really takes. As I mentioned, about 15 minutes at best and that includes finding your bottle of spray, finding a clean microfiber cloth, lugging out the vacuum cleaner, even though it's a small one like that, you still gotta untangle the cord, rip out the, the nozzle and all that stuff and get it set up. But 15 minutes, that's about it. Now, there's one more final piece, one more thing that I do, and that is some kind of scent pad, if you will. This happens to be wild cherry because I like wild cherry. I go ahead, cut this open, cut the string off. You can hang it from your rear view mirror, but frankly, I find it just gets in the way. You could hang it somewhere else, maybe behind the seats. Do whatever you want to do with it. But I typically cut it open, cut the string off, and just throw it under the seat. And the next time that I sweep, which shows you how long it is in between sweeps and this thing starts to wear out, they last about two or three months. It will get sucked into the end of the vacuum cleaner, and then I know it's time to replace it with a fresh one. That's actually what happened on the latest cleaning that I did on the truck. Anyway, just wanted to run through that and get questions on the channel. There is an easy way to keep your truck clean. You don't have to go nuts, have 10 million different chemicals, spend the whole day cleaning it. Why do that? There's better things to do, like make YouTube videos. Leave a comment. Let me know. What do you think? Too simple, not detailed enough, not enough time, or sounds pretty good to me. I think I'll get a container and put some dishwashing liquid in it. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.